friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new today's video we are going to be adding some spring touches to my home because spring has arrived and i am super excited because i have some new items that i got and thrifted items as well that i am just so happy with and i'm ready to get started but first we're going to make some coffee and put some dishes away and then we will get started So first up on the list here are some brand new items that I got. They are all matching from the same Etsy shop. The name is Gala's Ceramics and I had my eye on some of these for quite a while until I finally made the plunge and purchased them. This is a really cute little like, sponge holder and it has little flowers on them and it's just so cute and I just love it. And now I have a little home for my sponge. And I also got this really cute spoon rest. So all three items actually match each other. They're all like the exact same flower pattern and like daisy flower pattern. I just love them. I adore them. They are so fun to use and perfect for springtime. So I will link her shop down in the comments or not the comments, but in the description box below for you if you want to check her shop out. And I also got this cute little flower pot so I've had my ivy plant that's been propagating just sitting here waiting for me to repot it so that is what we're gonna do next is repot it and hopefully it will actually stay really well this time and not like die and not do so great which is what happened to my last ivy plant <laughs> So as you can see here, we have some teeny tiny little baby leaves, which are just my favorite. I love seeing new growth on my plants. It just makes me feel like I'm doing something right. <laughs> so, and that was something that I did not do with the last one that I propagated. That I did not have new growth on the one stem, but I propagated it because it had fallen off of the ivy plant so i just tried it out and it just didn't work so i believe this way is working so much better
so these are a few new things this mug with the little daisies on it came from another etsy shop and i will have to find the name of that one as well as this heart one this heart one is actually a vintage um, mug that i found on etsy as well and then this beautiful just a gorgeous little creamer i found at an antique store recently and it's got these gorgeous beautiful pink florals on it like roses and it has been just so fun like a dream using this in my morning routine with my coffee lately and i just love it so much it's one of my favorite things that i just found I found this a really cool floral print at an uh, antique shop as well recently and it just it struck me because it had the exact colors that I love to decorate my house with on camera it looks kind of blue but it's kind of like that sea green in person and I just love it so much and love that color that's like my favorite color to decorate with in our home and I got the idea to put some of this like raffia on there to give it a little extra something and I really like how it turned out and this was not actually an antique piece this was something set up like someone had a little shop inside the antique shop of things that they were selling and I just couldn't pass it up and it was like on sale it was like 70% off so I was like I gotta get this <laughs> And I wanted to show you my new tea set that I got for my birthday, actually, back in 2023. I found this another Etsy find. I just fell in love with it when I saw it. I thought it was just so cute and so quaint with the cute little mushrooms on it. <laughs> And now we're gonna move on to the living room because my poor little uh, ponytail palm tree here, the it fell over when the robot vacuum was on one night. It was actually Super Bowl Sunday <laughs> that I had it on. And the pot that I had it in completely broke because it fell off of the stand and everything. I was taking a chance and just leaving it on there to see if maybe it won't break, but it did. So I had to get a new one and I found this gorgeous, beautiful one with like blue flowers on it at Home Depot, actually, is where I got it from. And so I want to repot this ponytail palm into this beautiful planter and put it back in the living room and add like a touch of blue because I have so much green and I thought that this blue color would look pretty pretty nice with it and it does turn out really beautiful and I really love the way it looks.
So this is one of my newest plants that I got back in February and I've been wanting like something that's drapey and with lots of little vines coming off of it and I don't know what it's called exactly. It doesn't tell you the exact name on the bottom of the pot but I just love it and it's just so pretty and dainty and cute and perfect. <laughs> So I have been itching a lot lately to just plant some flowers and I remember I, I remembered several years ago when I was living by myself in my little house I planted some zinnia out by my mailbox and it just flourished it was so beautiful I have to see if I can get you a picture of it at my mailbox from back then it was like 2014 is when I planted it I think it was and it just was so beautiful and I have been wanting to plant some zinnia again so I decided I'm gonna try planting some zinnia and wildflowers and some daisies as well and just in these two little pots if you have been with me for a while and you saw I think it was one of my Sunday resets I had this blue teacup like flower pot that my sister had sent to me for my birthday and I said I was gonna bring it back in the springtime and here it is and I also have a pink pot as well that works just as well with it and they're very similar they're very similar styles together and I'm actually planting the wildflower seeds in this one and then my kids and I are gonna plant the zinnia and daisies in just a few minutes and I'm just so excited because they have been sprouting already and I, I just cannot wait for them to flower. <laughs> here's my other newest little baby plant it is not the string of pearls the lady said it's a string of peas and how cute is this tiny little turtle planter I found that at the same little shop as the floral print that I hung up on the wall and this cute little basket my daughter actually put my little cat in it but I'm gonna use it in a different way in just a few minutes and here's another find that I found at the antique shop, both of these two finds right here. I saw this little teeny tiny picture and immediately grabbed it. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this thing because it is just little and dainty and I love small and dainty things so much and it's just beautiful and I'm thinking somebody may have painted it themselves because it just has like initials on the bottom of it, so maybe they did, I don't know. And then I also got this beautiful like milk glass vase with some florals on it and it came with this little faux flower in it <laughs> and it's just so gorgeous.
We are moving on to planting some more seeds and I have got two sweet little helpers here with me, my kids. And we are planting the zinnia seeds and the daisy seeds as well in this little egg carton that we have finished using for our eggs. And I've always wanted to try that and I've been really wanting to do that this year in particular. For some reason, I've just been having that like drive to plant flowers this year <laughs> and I wanted to use an egg carton so here we are trying it out and I'll have to try to see if I can insert some clips here of some of the growth as well because I forgot to add that in at the end of the video so I might just show you right here and they are growing so well we have a few duds here and there that just did not work as well as we thought but that's okay but I don't know they may have clumped together too many seeds in some of these spots I don't know but I'm so excited because daisies are like my favorite flower that's what I had in my wedding and they just they make me so happy I just love daisies they're just so like dainty because I love dainty things and just so simple I think it's the simplicity of a daisy that I love so much just white petals with the yellow center and they're just they're a happy flower right to me they're just a happy flower and I found out that it actually takes about two growing seasons for them to flower so that'll be interesting to see if I can keep them alive long enough to actually see some flowers in about two years. <laughs> so I might have to give you an update in the two years. <laughs> so we'll see. But the kids had so much fun planting these seeds with me. They loved helping and they have been so excited just watching the growth happen. What is this crazy weather? <laughs> this is crazy. We have like snow happening all of a sudden. Like we had rain earlier in the day and now there's snow and it was like this snow squall. <laughs> so just so funny. And okay, so here we are. We are gonna hang up my new little hanging basket that I found out in the antique shops and my daughter had put my little cat in it, but I actually got this for the reason of putting like florals in them and I remembered that my grocery store had these really fun like dried lavender florals for sale and I finally grabbed some I wanted to get some last year and I didn't I, pa I passed up one and I was like no nah, I don't really need it but then I decided yes I'm gonna do that this year and I just love the way this looks it's so fun and it smells so good too when you're like right up on it you can smell it it's so so beautiful I love the smell of lavender it's one of my favorite smells and I just love how this turned out and I feel like it's such a great little touch of spring <laughs> and you can see in the background like the sunshine is shining again now here in the late afternoon it's just been a crazy weather day I feel like we're back in Utah where you have like everything all in one day <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And we are going to end with some yummy baking. I made this really delicious like fudge fudge no it was like a brownie pie it's actually joanna Gaines recipe in one of her magnolia cookbooks and it was so good so yummy so i will see you guys in the next one so enjoy these little clips of me baking a pie 
and some last little clips of like the sky <laughs> so i hope you have a happy start to your spring and are having a wonderful time and i will see you in the next one